and that sketch is uh, an idea that the designer would like to realize. In this case, we've been charged with realizing the pink robots in the show. This is one of the light boards for the show, and uh, we're using it to program the LEDs. We have the dolls down here, which are, it's a setup of three color LEDs. Uh, each one of the dolls has eight different sets that we can do. Everything reacts very nice and quick, so we can do a lot of effects, a lot of bouncing, a lot of flashing, a lot of color changes. We're hoping to use the dolls that we have set up down here as a model so that the choreographer can come in and we can work together and kind of pre-program a lot of this stuff before we get the actors in on stage. We also then had to figure out what to build these shells out of, and that was interesting. We explored a lot of different options, silicones and plastics and different molding techniques, and we've landed on actually a vacuum-formed plastic. So this is a, a prototype of one of, the, uh, one of the forearms for the 3000 robot. So it starts as a sketch, then turns into a 3D model, and then it goes to our CNC machine. We go and cut out the model. First of all, uh, we've come a long way with the development of our suit. From just being a velour bodysuit, now we have figured out how to attach our shells. What we ended up doing was attaching the velvet to the hard plastic shell with thermoplastic. So it's all heat set on there, and then the shell is stitched to the bodysuit. In our robot, is LED runs all the way around the inside of the hard plastic shell. It also runs down this center vein here. Inside of our robot is this fabulous circuit board in the vessel. They all have nine circuits or 27 wires that come out of them. This is the battery. Wiring the battery to the circuit board with the DMX connectors. The DMX connectors go into the transceiver. We have to strip all the wires, plug them all into the circuit boards, and then label them all. So we'll be doing this for the next few weeks. The so last time you were here also we were talking about helmets and we were still prototyping ideas about how to make the helmet glow. This one's clear, it will be painted white. And they sit on top and then we have a side piece, a muzzle, and another side piece that'll give him that kind of very menacing, otherworldly quality.